Hello and welcome to the BBC News Report of Algiers. And Harry. Today we'll be reporting of FA Funds Cuts, Music at Garth Academy, HSD and University Fundings and of course the weather. Now to our main headline of the day, the Tour de France kicking off in Yorkshire with 100 days to go. Now to our correspondent Charlotte, will, she will tell us more. The Tour de France starts in from Leeds in 100 days today. We're looking at the Tour de France and how it inspired us at a more local level. Bikeability is a cycling efficiency for the 21st century designed to give the next generation the skills and confidence to ride their bikes on today's roads. Here at Gaffer Academy, bikeability is in full swing as staff and students join the current boom in British cycling. We spoke to Georgia to see how she has been inspired by cycling. This is Georgia who took part in bikeability this week. So Georgia, what activities did you do during bikeability? We went out of school on the bikes down some side streets and came to realisation with real life traffic. Do you feel safer now you have practised and known how to ride a bike in the correct manner and why do you think that? Yeah, because um, you need to learn the pros and cons of what you can and can't do on the bike, on the road. Like you can't listen to your music like really loud. It's 100 days till Tour de France, will you be watching it? Yeah, um, I think a bit of starting line, and um, should be really good. Yeah. With all things happening at Garth Academy, we hope that cycling makes people more healthier, safer, and more aware of the benefits cycling brings to us. I am Charlotte, reporting from BBC School Report. Back to the studio. Will I be seeing you on your bike, Harry? Oh, definitely. <laughs> now to our next story of the day. University funding cuts slashed. Now to Eve who will tell us more. Budget cuts in universities may harm education for students. This is due to the government trying to protect research funds. But how badly will this affect the students and their future? Over to Charlotte and Jessica for details. University teachers could potentially see their budgets cut by 6% after the Higher Education Funding Council for England, H. EFCE announced plans to prioritise research funding. This will be an advantage for funding but a disadvantage for the education of students. We interviewed Oliver about how this could impact on students affected by this. So budget cuts will affect me in that um, I might have to live closer to home because obviously that means that I might be able to live at home rather than in student accommodation so I have to pay less because of university fees means that uh, I can't really afford to spend as much on accommodation uh, and living costs because university fees are so high. How are schools responding to these budget cuts? Well, changes to the budget effects of, of universities can affect our students in a number of ways. Um, they can be affected by the courses that universities will offer them. Um, so they might not offer the, the range of courses that they currently do and therefore students will be forced into doing perhaps courses that they don't want to do. That could be one potential change. The second and, and possibly bigger change is that as universities come under financial pressure, the way they raise their income is from students, um, and they get that in the form of tuition fee loans, and it's those tuition fee loans that students are now faced with repaying once they've done a university degree. Um, that means that all students going through university now will end up with fairly sizable debts that they will have to pay off for, for long periods of time after they've left universities. Um, so potentially um, they could be paying the debts back for 30 years, um, which might put students off university. I think it limits students' uh, ability to have independence and uh, get the full university experience. This will affect students wanting to go to university and we would advise them to stay up to date with the changes. Thanks for that, Eve. The new government scheme, HS2. HS2 is going to be cutting through the Leeds area, causing a big disturbance. Now we join our field reporters at Garth Academy. Is a high-speed railway really needed? Well, the government think that one is to go from Birmingham to London, making travel faster and more efficient. But it will be cutting through county parks, nature reserves and the second phase through Leeds, causing disruption in areas such as Rothwell. It is estimated that the first phase is to be finished in 2026 and the second phase in 2033. Let's see how much inconvenience could be caused. Do you think the HS2 is a good thing? Uh, no, I don't, uh, because I don't think it's going to bring jobs to this area. I think a lot of people will uh, go back to, to London and it will be a, a quicker route for them to go to London than people coming to the north. How do you feel about running near Garfield? 
um, I think we should um, protest against it and it's going to affect a lot of people's lives with losing land and houses and prices are going to go down um, and I think it should not be built near Garforth at all. Do you support the idea of the HS2 and why? Um, no, I don't support it at all. Um, I think um, we should improve the rail routes that are already uh, from Leeds to London and from York to London, improve those rather than waste an awful lot of land around the area. So if the government did come through with their plan, would you change your opinion? What's your opinion on this scheme? Seeing as it's causing a disturbance, I'm not very pleased with the whole situation, but on the other hand, it will be a good passageway. Music at Garth Academy is a very hot topic. Yes, now to Natalie for more on this story. Has Garth got talent? We have arranged interviews with bands and teachers here at Garth Academy. We look into some rehearsals that happened here today and we spoke to Head of Music, Mrs Smith. We have lots of activities that run, so we have about 20 extracurricular groups that run each week. Most weeks we've got some kind of concert or after school event where parents can come and look at the work that students are doing and there's always lots going on. Uh, the opportunities we've had, um, we've been music, we've had loads of gigs uh, in the main hall since year nine to here so we've done about five gigs every year so we've just grown more confident with ourselves and we've just got a chance to perform in front of people and get used to it and stuff. Yeah. We've been able to like learn new skills and stuff and like every performance we've had we've been able to like interpret that into like every performance to make it better. They initially gave us a room to practice in every week so like as musicians we could develop then obviously as we got older um, they couldn't support us like that anymore but during all our music lessons and they've managed to like keep developing our skills and giving us new songs to practice in various different styles. Different range of songs as well, different yeah. styles. Um, I try and join in, but um, as a teacher it's meant to sort of like um, help, but I do kind of join in when I get carried away, I'm afraid. Natalie and I'm reporting from the music department in Gaffer Academy. Thank you for watching. Well, it seems like a very musical school. Indeed. In response to today's announcement from the FA, let's go over to our journalists to find out how funding cuts may affect young footballers. The FA are cutting funding in football and explaining how it is affecting football players with good potential in our school. Here at Gaff Academy, the Football Association is to lose 1.6 million of public funding for the amateur game of football in England as a high amount of people have stopped playing football. Now here's one of the school's football players explaining his opinion about this decision. I think it's unfair because we are the future of football, so where will they get their future players from? What if I told you that it would affect the conditions of the pitches you play on? What would you think then? Uh, well, they can't train good quality players, so football's a sport will decrease as a sport in popularity. I think there's so much money in the professional game of football that uh, it's appalling to cut it at an amateur stage when People are getting paid multi-million pounds per year to play football on the television and in the Premiership, and yet there are hundreds of thousands of people all around the world that play football on a Saturday, Sunday morning, and and there's that's where the money is disappearing. So I think it's a bad idea, and there's too much money at the top end. A warning there for football that without more grassroots funding, the future of our young prospects remain in jeopardy. Back to the studio. Now for the weather. Well today it is particularly sunny with partial rain and clouds. Make sure you have your brollies. Thanks for watching our BBC News report. And Leeds, remember, keep it cool.